Snowdonia's upland scenery has always attracted artists of vision. A canvas by Julius Caesar Ibbotson shows how difficult communications once were. Richard Wilson came here. And also Turner. Artists were the first tourists. And however rugged the surrounds, it's possible for a painter to make himself comfortable. Royal Academician Cuffin Williams is among Wales' leading landscape artists today. The peaks of Snowdonia provided a backdrop for his childhood on Anglesey. Preparatory work at height. Cuffin Williams has painted abroad, but these mountains never cease to fuel his artistry. The Welsh name for the great central peak is Arwyddfa, flanked by Llywedd and Crib Gorch, the Red Ridge. The drawings are advanced into oils by the painter, faithfully reproducing the angularities of this terrain. When forms and figures appear, they are dwarfed by what is around them. Meanwhile, hundreds of feet below the artist's eerie, the rocks conceal a tourist attraction, at least as potent as the great outdoors, Snowdonia's inner personality. These visitors are embarking on a subterranean guided tour as guests of the Central Electricity Generating Board in an electric van, of course. A staggering 10 miles of tunneling through solid rock knits together the De Norwig hydroelectric pump storage power station beside Llyn Paris. In one of the biggest contracts of its kind ever placed in Britain, three million tons of rock were excavated to create a warren of mighty caverns. When De Norwig is called upon to generate electricity, a hundred thousand gallons of water a second cascade from an upper lake down into the depths of the mountain, activating massive machines. They generate at peak hours. Later, they reverse to pump the water back to fall again. De Norway can meet a sudden demand for electricity anywhere instantly. From this situation where we're spinning in air ready to generate, it can have its full load of 300 megawatts out in 10 seconds. Do you enjoy taking people around? I always enjoy showing people around in Norwich. Uh, it's a fantastic achievement. There's so much to show you and tell you. And in fact, it's a pity we don't have more time so that you can see more of it. It's one of the biggest engineering achievements we have, and it's in North Wales. Remember the water you mentioned at the beginning. Where did it come from? From the upper reservoir from Marklin Mauer. Initially, I was a little worried about what they would do to the mountain especially since they've, the upper lake at Marklin Mawr has been built at a point almost at 3,000 feet above sea level, a remote area, a beautiful area, but a good job has been done. 